Hey, what's up guys? Alex here with a new video, and today we're gonna to be doing a comparison between the new Canon RF 50mm f1.8 STM and its older brother, cousin, I'm not sure what you wanna call it, the Canon EF 50mm f1.8 STM. Now, I did my first impressions on the RF 50, and what I noticed in my first impressions was that this wasn't necessarily a new lens, so this lens didn't have the RF pop, right? So all the new RF lenses that Canon's put out have been phenomenal, have been very sharp, have had very good controlled chromatic aberrations. And this lens, from my first impressions, looked, felt just like the old EF version. So I wanted to do a video comparing both of them to see if A, is it worth upgrading if you have the EF version, or B, if you wanna save some money, is it worth getting the EF version over the RF version? So, with that being said, before we get to the actual comparison, I did film a B-roll sequence with my R5 and 4K 120 using both lenses, and we'll go ahead and roll that first. Okay guys, before we get started, just a heads up, it is raining outside, it's actually pouring. So if you hear any weird background noise, my apologies, I can't stop the rain, but the show must go on. We must compare these lenses. Like I've done with all my previous videos, all these images were shot with the exact same settings. All these images we're gonna see today have been unedited, straight imported into Lightroom. They are using the Adobe Color Profile. They have the exact same white balance. So we're gonna have a very fair comparison here. Also on this comparison, I did not use a tripod, so the composition can change a little bit, but we're gonna get an idea of how these lenses perform in the real world. So let's get started here, guys. On the left, we have the RF version. On the right, we have the EF version. And I should also say that this was shot with the R5, so really pushing the boundaries here with a high megapixel camera. But glancing at these images, they both look identical uh, to me. Um, the bokeh looks the same here on the left-hand side on both lenses. Uh, you're gonna see that the RF version does have a, a bit more vignetting. Um, you can see the darker corners, but that's obviously gonna be fixable uh, in post. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. Both lenses are gonna be equally as sharp. Um, it's not razor sharp, it's definitely sharp enough, um, but you're gonna also see that there's tons of purple fringing here on the RF version. On the EF version, you still have that purple fringing on the hair, and again, like, on a one-to-one -one zoom, you're looking at the purple fringing, you're looking at the sharpness and the bokeh balls, these lenses look pretty identical to me. Um, I do not see an improvement on the RF version in sharpness or in anything <laughs> in, in these two images, but let's go ahead and take a look at another set and see what we find. Okay, so here on the left we have the RF version, on the right we have the EF version, and we're gonna see here that the RF version does render a little bit more magenta, not too much, but just enough where I can notice it here uh, in, in the skin and kind of in the steps. But overall, looking at these images, again, they look pretty identical. Uh, if we zoom in here on the RF version, it does look a little soft. Now, one, one big thing, I did shoot these at 1 80th of a second. I also did pick the sharpest images out of all the images. So I might have had some movement here or she might have moved, but EF version looks a uh, hair sharper here. But I don't think it's the lens in this in this situation. I definitely think it's the, the shutter speed. I should have probably just bumped my ISO, but uh, looking at the images again, even the bokeh here in the background, both lenses look pretty identical. Looking at another set of images, here again we have the RF on the left, EF on the right, and just looking at them like this, guys, they look identical. I can't see a difference. Uh, again, I think there's a little bit more vignetting on the RF version, but it's not that big of a deal. If we zoom in one-to-one, -one, we're gonna start seeing that 
both lenses are equally as sharp. I should say they're sharp enough, right? They're not razor tech sharp, but definitely this is a workable image. And uh, looking at the color and just the image in, in, in general, they both look identical. So, so far we're not seeing much of a difference. Let's take a look at another set of images. Okay, on the left we have the RF version, on the right we have the EF version. And again, the one big thing I'm noticing is that the RF version does render a little bit more magenta than the EF version. Not a big deal, but definitely seeing that in the colors. And again, looking at this image, you look at the background and you look at the just the subject, they look pretty identical to me. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Here the EF version looks maybe a hair sharper. Again, we're shooting at 1 125th of a second, so it could have been uh, obviously my mistake or maybe she moved a little bit, but the EF version does look a hair sharper in this image and the bokeh, the background, everything else looks pretty identical to me. All right, for the last image, again, the RF on the left, EF on the right. Again, I see more magenta here on the floor on the RF version. I actually notice more vignetting here as well on the RF version. Other than that, both pictures look pretty identical to me. You zoom in and both images are gonna look extremely comparable. If I did not have a EF or RF here on the upper corner, I don't think I'd be able to tell a difference. As a matter of fact, when I was going through all these photos, I never once saw kind of a, a sudden shift to identify the RF versus the EF like I've done in previous comparisons. So I think I pretty much have my conclusion and I'm ready to wrap this one up. Okay, so what did you guys think? To me, these lenses were identical and that was a huge disappointment. Now, before seeing this video, I did check out a review by Christopher Frost who does lens reviews on YouTube and he shoots test charts and does a way more technical overview of both lenses. And his conclusion was that they were very similar, but the RF version was slightly sharper. In the real world, I did not notice that. As a matter of fact, I constantly got sharper results with the EF version, which was interesting. But both lenses looked and performed identical. And again, that was a massive disappointment. And the reason is because Canon has really upped their game with their RF lenses. Their RF35, the RF85, those budget-friendly lenses perform way outside of their weight class. This is the first time where Canon clearly took shortcuts to reach a certain price point and pretty much reused or altered uh, the EF optical formula to get it to fit into the RF mount because both lenses are the exact same size, perform the exact same way. If you look at the optical formula, it looks pretty identical, just kind of shifted back to, to fit the RF mount. So the next question is, if you own the EF version, is it worth upgrading to the RF version? And the answer is absolutely not. You will lose money in that transaction and you'll have the exact same performance. So if you're switching over, adapt the EF version, use this as long as you want until you upgrade to a 1.4 or a 1.2 50 millimeter, but do not upgrade to the RF version, not worth it. If you don't own the EF version and you're looking at one of these two lenses as your first lens, then is where it makes sense picking up the RF lens. I personally like having native mount lenses in my cameras and makes things significantly easier. Don't have to worry about adapters. And only if you don't own the EF version is where I can recommend picking up the RF version because again, they're the same lens, except this one's 125 bucks, this one's 200 bucks, but you gotta also factor in the adapter to, to make this one work, right? But that's a quick overview of the Canon EF and RF 50 millimeter F 1.8 STM. Like I do with all my videos, I will include all the images I showed you to download below in the description box so you can check them out yourself. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love being active in the comments. I love kind of hearing everybody's thoughts after seeing the images and just interacting with the, with the community we're building here. As always, guys, please like this video, please subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Have a good one, guys. Peace.